guys, Matt with Pistol Truckers over here, and we out here at class. We make our combines and equipment, farming equipment. And today, what I have is a combine head. I just want to give you guys a little uh, idea how to strap these. So first of all, we usually have like a box or something. They said I didn't have to put any edge protection on this one because it's all metal pieces inside. But the f first thing that you have to do whenever you're uh, getting e equipment, I don't care how much, uh, how much experience you have, you have to ask the customer how he wants it tied down. So the customer said he wants a chain hooked through here, and you always do it exactly how they want to because they don't want this paint scratched up and it getting rusty. But they said they'll tell you on the parts that can get scratched up with some chains. that stand is just going to be taken off anyway no big deal so I put that on there uh, to um, just to have a, a second thing holding it down now as you can see my binder is going out towards the outside of the uh, combine head and that is because you want to pull it away from the center mass and so that's going to keep it more stable uh, and then like you see, like you can see, I just put a chain right through there, hooked it onto a spool, and then wrapped uh, that chain around there. Same thing with this side. Uh, like I said, I put the binder on this side, pull it away from the center mass. I uh, did the same thing on that stand over there. And like I said, you don't want to throw straps unless they tell you to. But most of the time, you don't throw straps on these things. Because, like I said, it's going to scratch the paint. And a lot of times, these blades are really, really sharp. It's going to cut your strap anyway. And he told me, throw a chain through here, snake it through here, put it over here. But with the weight with this, I need more than four chains. This is more than 20,000 pounds. So what I ended up doing, and I would have done this anyway, was, um, as you can see, I used two chains on each one of those tie-downs. And what I did was I used two different points of contact. So that means that each of these are distributing, distributing um, different amounts of load, uh, which is negligent, but I mean, it's, it's something to, um, to consider. These just, if I hooked it around here, hooked it back to this spool and put a binder on there, it'd be plenty enough, but this is just a little extra uh, just just because uh, and so like I said as you can see I put chain snaked it through there and pulled it back so I got this pulling it this way I got this pulling it here and the ratchet binders can grab a little bit tighter than the snap binders usually uh, so I got those like I said on the other one pulling it out from the center mass and the ones in the middle well, they're just, uh, you know, pulling against these. These are the primary what's holding it down. But uh, these are uh, also very uh, important. Uh, so like I said, I, don't, I didn't cross the chains, and that's one big thing that you can't ever do is cross chains because they'll rub together and they'll, it'll, a lot of times it might grind a, a hole and weaken the chain. Uh, so like, like you said, I, I just uh, put it around that, that tie down there and that's actually what's going to hold up the whole head onto the combine so it's uh plenty strong enough on this one as you can see i got little tie downs there you not that much weld on there this is a lot stronger it's triangulated got gussets on it and everything it's a, a lot stronger but if you only have tie downs like that and you see that you're chain hooks are uh, bigger than that what you can do is on these chains you got a little cotter pin in there you take needle nose pliers hopefully you got a bunch of spares take it out of there take the hook off the chain slide the chain through there put the hook back on with the new um, cotter pin hook it through a spool or however and uh, that's how you tie down if it if you don't 
if you don't have enough uh, room uh, to put your hook through there. This is my just for truckers. Have a great day.